Good morning, South Florida. Of course, the big weather story is Tropical Storm Harvey, which continues to bring catastrophic flooding to parts of Texas and even Louisiana, also dealing with some torrential rain. At this time, as of the 5 a.m. advisory, Harvey is barely moving. It's just creeping to the southeast at three miles per hour, and that is the major issue as it is just sitting, spinning, and pumping in that moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. Max sustained winds 40 miles per hour. It is forecast to move move into the Gulf before swerving back around as we head into the middle of the week could be near or just over Houston and then likely tracking to the north and east on Thursday. Still tropical storm potentially pushing across Louisiana and then into Arkansas potentially as a depression as we get into later this week. Harvey is going to stick around and just continue to slam parts of the southeast coast of Texas and Louisiana. Additional 20 inches or more possible for some of these areas that have already picked up about 30 inches of rain. So when all is said and done, some of these areas along the southeast coast of Texas could see historic flooding in terms of 50 inches or more for rainfall totals. And also we're seeing parts of Louisiana will be dealing with some catastrophic flooding as well, potentially. So here's the current radar showing the rain bands just continuing to slam parts of Texas and Louisiana at this time. And we have tropical storm warnings in place stretching from Houston along the coast of southeast Texas down into Corpus Christi. Also flash flood watches warnings in place from Texas into Louisiana. And as we look at the current satellite for Harvey, we also have another area that we're watching. This is the disturbance that brought us all the rain for the past week or so. We've just been dealing with a very moist and unsettled atmosphere. It is now potential tropical cyclone number 10, and it is expected to become tropical storm Irma and right up the Atlantic seaboard potentially here just off the coast of Georgia, Carolina coast as well as a tropical storm by Wednesday, though it looks like it'll be weakening and moving out into the waters of the Atlantic. Now, tropical storm watches are already up for parts of the Carolina coast. And as we also take a look in the eastern Atlantic, there's another area that we're keeping a close eye on with a medium potential of development as is expected to move westward over the tropical Atlantic. We have plenty of time to watch it. Here's a live view from our Key West camera. We're seeing just a few storms lingering near the lower keys. A stunning sunrise from our Biscayne Bay camera Miami. Wow, uh, that is just gorgeous. A couple clouds in the mix, but thankfully we are dry to start you off this Monday morning after a stormy Sunday yesterday. We had some heavy rain and even flooding in spots. Nothing in comparison to Texas, but still uh, we are finally seeing a little improvement and the winds out of the south southwest five to eight miles per hour. Upper 70s in Broward and Dade County, low 80s across the Keys and the future radar of the model showing that most of the morning is looking quiet. However, as we get into lunchtime, one, two, three, PM, we'll start to see those storms develop moving in from the south and west to the north and east. So even as we get into 4 or 5 p.m., we're going to see the potential for some scattered storms. So don't put away the umbrella just yet. Although the rain chance goes down today in comparison to yesterday, not as widespread. Still the chance for storms here and there, but more sunshine leading to highs in the low 90s. A small craft caution is put in place for boaters. Seas two to four choppy on the bays. And tonight we'll see some spotty storms, mild and muggy, upper 70s. So finally, as we head into tomorrow, Wednesday, the rest of the week. We'll see more of our typical summertime pattern. Lows around 80, highs in the low 90s with a mix of sunshine and those afternoon storms when the sea breeze develops.